Hello everyone, welcome back to the tutorial. In the last video, we have discussed about the basic introduction of the MongoDB. And in the last class, I told uh, we talk about a database collection document and credo version. How to perform in MongoDB? We'll discuss right now. So first, we'll talk about a database. So database. Uh, so here we have a uh, multiple definitions oh, so first i would say this is it's a one of a place where we can store the data so this is a one of the database a definition or uh, a few people are also using like this it's a physical container we used to store a collection uh, so why why i talk about the collection because in uh, no sql database we store a collection format so that is the reason i told uh, it is used to store a collection and it's a collection of data also we can say so since it is a no sql here we maintain all the data in document format so the multiple set of the document is called as collection so the next i will talk about this collection so what exactly the meaning of this collection collection is a group of a documents or set of documents is known as collection here we have a multiple documents okay so collection can have any number of document it uh, not even one document we can have more than one document and also we can have only the single document also based on our requirement we are uh, stored the document into the collection and here one advantage is uh, it's completely the different than the table and collection does not have a, any schema collection does not have any schema in the sense so there is no exact structure for the collection there is no limitations so that is uh, we have a one advantage it's not a, it's exactly different like a table and uh, so it is since it is not a relational database so that is the reason we don't have a joins concept also and this no is and so this is about the basic things on collection and now we'll talk about the document in mongodb so what is the meaning of this document the documents is completely the json json protocol so i already talked about the json javascript object notation uh, so here we have a key and value pair okay this is the one set and the set uh, can store a key and a value pair this is the combination of this key and value so that is called as a document and each and every document has a unique id so that will be generated by the system so in a normal rtpms uh, we talked about the primary key the similar manner this is a id uh, similar to primary key and id uh, the represented by underscore id and uh, this address will be it is always unique address and it will be generated each and every time when we are creating the documents into the mongodb so the address the length the address id length it will be a exactly the 34 character so this is alphanumeric character uh, the next point it has a flexible and dynamic schema for example so now I have a two documents and the first document I have a only the three key value pair and in the second document I can extend it up to four or five or six like this. So that is the reason it is a very flexible and there is no static. So dynamic in the sense it might be a vary the things in each and every document. If you want to add or if you want to remove whatever we can we do this is completely user defined schema. So there is no fixed value over here and uh, this is not a uh, static also so this is about the collection database and document so the main thing in the no sql so that is a cred operation so what exactly the meaning of this cred operation so cred so here a very important thing in each and every database we must do it so c stand for create or insert or stand for read or update and delete stand for delete itself uh, read r stand for read u stand for update and d stand for delete so create so what are the things we are going to create here so before that uh, we'll talk about 
the basic commands commands in mongo db so what are the basic commands do we have simple first so whenever you want to check how many databases are present in the particular things uh, we should use a simple command that is show dbs or sho show data bases so this is the method to identify a number of top number of databases present in present in data base so this is about we are going to find the database and after this when you are creating the database now i want to create a new database create a new database we use method called we use method called use database name use the database name so when you are creating a new database we use use database name if we execute the database will be new database will be created uh, so first i'd show you we use uh, for example my database name is uh, scott so this is my database name i'm just given a name if i execute it it will be created so after this if you execute the show dps it will show empty the database is not represent in the database so why because uh, this particular scott new database that doesn't have the value or doesn't have the document so since we are not creating the document so that is the reason it shows like this but now we'll talk about the practical thing so here i'm going to teach the command for how to work in the command prompt and how to use an atlas application everything i'll talk about first we'll go with the command prompt so simple i'll just open my this pc and this pc i'm going to select it oh yes here uh, my program file is here i just selected my program file and here i have to search for this mongo db okay uh, which will be created uh, you can go with the mongo db and here server will be there and you have to select the server and you have to open it and this is a 4.2 version i, I have a, a one video that video i have explained and that's how to install this mongosh and how to uh, install the atlas everything uh, the link will be in description you can go to that so now i am currently using the 4.2 version server version and here i am going to select this bin and i'll open the bin so after this so select your path and select control a it will be selected and type it as cmd then click on this enter it will be directly navigate to the command prompt okay so after this if you are using uh, 6 and above you should use mongosh but still i am using a 4.2 version so that is the reason i use mongo.exe so then it will be shell will be connected to the database so now look at this first a very a basic command which we talked about which one yes first basic command is show data base okay so now i'll execute this first one show dbs okay let me check uh, whether it will be executed or not so yes it will be executed so i have already created this scott okay so that is the reason it shows scott okay one more command i told you show data bases so now so the both will be executed which is nothing but it will display 
whatever the data bases we have created so that will be displayed by using this show dps and this admin configuration local this three are the default database it is always present in the database so now i am going to create a new a database how to create a new database so here we are going to use this use so my database name is hr so this is my database name and if i execute it is switched to database hr so now i want to check whether the hr database is created in my nosql database or not so how to check it so by using show dps so now it shows only the four part we have created the database by using use method why it is not shows because since we are not creating any collection into it or any document to it so what we can do now so we should do start, we are starting to insert in the value so before inserting we should create a collection so how to create the collection very simple collection already we talk about collection is nothing but set of documents so this is the syntax and no sql is a case sensitive make sure this a uh, db create c r e a t e create so c must be the caps letter and collection create collection and here we can pass a two argument one is name is nothing but a uh, collection name we are going to provide and one more uh, one more is optional so that uh, here uh, we can pass which kind of the uh, data which memory size we are going to give uh, whether like a binary value or number system or string system like this we are specify so we'll talk about in a future class but now i am going to talk only about the name how to provide the collection name so now i have a employee table so when you are writing the collection name that must be double quotes and here you can execute so now it shows okay but uh, nothing but so now we are in a hr user in hr user we created what collection so now we'll check it out so show dps so now it shows here hr so uh, here 00 uh, gb will be there so after this i don't know which collection exactly present to the hr so here also one command will be there by using this command so what are the collections are present in the particular user okay so now now i want to switch a uh, scott user means i just use scott it will never create it it's just switching if it is not database is created then it will be created if it is already existed it will be switched the database still we are in hr so now i want to check how many collections are present in the hr so show collections show collections if i execute this i will get emp so which we created emp created here also we have emp collections so this is how we creating the collection into the particular database so now we talked about uh, how to create the database and how to create the collection into the database so now i want to delete the collection how can i delete the collection simple method it's a db and here we should write the collection name db dot collection name collection name we should write uh, which collection we have we have a employee collection okay so and dot drop is a method it is a one of the method by using this we can delete the collection so now i cannot write this collection name but it is a syntax to delete the collection but we should specify exact the collection name uh, which collection emp collection uh, since we are in the hr user so we have a emp is a collection so after this i'll drop method alias i'll execute so it says true 
a true in the sense uh, the values are present so it is a deleted so now you can check whether the collection will be present or not so now it shows empty because just now we deleted the collection similar manner if you want to delete the particular database so very simple method db dot we have to write this syntax drop and it is a not case in a case sensitive language we should use data data base it is a method and it is only the syntax db dot drop data base if we execute this so the dropped hr hr will be dropped okay and one database will be deleted now we can check whether the database are deleted or not how show dbs now the hr database is not present in our database similar manner again we will learn uh, how to delete this uh, scott user okay so now i have a scott user now i want to switch the scott user how can i switch use scott it will not create it it will switch to the scott user so then now i deleting this scott database how can i delete it db dot drop data base drop data base it is a method if you execute it it is also executed and you can see this show dbs so now we have a default databases now again i will create a scott database see look at this scott database has been created and parallelly we are going to check an atlas application so i'll minimize this and here i have a atlas application and i'll just open it so this is the graphical user interface and uh, so when you are open this it will shows like this and uh, here you can use the connect button if you click on this connect button it will be connected and here so my queries will be there some database and here performance options will be there i'll just go with the what data base okay so when you are creating the database you should click on this create database and database name you should give and along with the collection name so let me give this hr and collection name is emp so if i click on this create database uh, so here hr will be created and employee is the one of the collection so now if you want to delete it uh, manually you can easily delete see the drop data base similar manner you can do it which is uh, your database name hr you have to specify this hr and you can delete it only we have so default databases so parallelly we'll do it so now i have created a scott user okay so if i open this show database so it will not shows a scott because so still we don't insert any a uh, collection into it and here also we can refresh it in the database uh, no scott are present so now in shell i am going to create a one collection how to create the collection db dot create collection inside the bracket within double quotes we should pass a collection name emp is my collection name and execute so now it will be created now if i do this show dps then the scott user will be visible here similar manner here also can go and if we refresh it here refresh button will be there can refresh it so now the scott is also will be present and under the scott emp collection also visible similar manner and i uh, deleting means similar manner we already use how to delete in the database how to drop the database and how to drop the collection 
already we have learned so but now i am talk about inserting the value into the collection how will be inserted by using the json protocol we are going to insert it so look at this insert is a method it is used to create a new document inside the collection so after that i will provide a notes for this also before that i look at the syntax i'm going to type the syntax here itself then i will be changing uh, so the db dot uh, we should pass always the collection name uh, we know the collection name that is employee is my collection name and uh, which method we are doing insert insert in the sense we are adding the new value into the our new document into the collection insert method so within the parenthesis we should write in the curly braces because it is a json protocol it is a set of set will be started with the curly braces okay so this is how we are going to store the value so now i will show you how to store the value into the no sql data base so my i already known my collection name is emp db dot emp so before that uh, let me open my rdbms application so for your understanding purpose i'll use this rdbms database also scott and my password is tiger i'll use other base set lines 100 pages uh, get pages let me uh, pages hunted. so let me clear this screen so after this uh, i'll execute one of a employee table from emp okay so this is uh, rdbms data so now we have uh, one two a total eight columns present in this table and one more table i'm going to display select star from department table okay so this is a very simple table i, I can easily create into the mongodb so now uh, how to create this department document in the particular mongodb so now i'll use this command from and i'll use the method insert method in insert method so here i have a first column in a relational database system so my first column is department number dept no and similar manner i am going to write within the double quotes i should write dept no and here we should use a colon uh, so indentation is doesn't matter you can give uh, indentation but uh, it's okay and again when you are writing uh, the, what is the first data present here and so now i will 10 over here okay within the double quotes and i just closed it closed a uh, set and i close this bracket so here uh, we have a multiple method insert one insert many or insert so three methods are there first i'll just show you inserting so in, in the insert means uh, one data will be stored so now i'll execute right result inserted only the one value so now you can open this collection show collections emp so now i want to uh, see or I, I want to check whether the inserted value present in a particular emp document or not so how can i check this easy methods so we use a find method to identify the document present in the collection so how to use this database db dot here we should write collection name uh, what is my collection name my collection name is emp dot find is a method find is a method to identify the document or present in the 
data base. So now I'll use the collection in this EMP. So I'll execute. See. So this is how the values are documents are present in the no SQL. So each and every document it has a unique ID that will be generated by the system and it is 24 character size. So this is how we are inserting the value. So uh, here uh, one more method is there. Insert a mini insert mini method. So now we can store uh, one more method is insert one one method. So here we can use a one method. So department one. So when you are uh, store a multiple data. So now I want to store this in time first one department number equal to 10 department name equal to accounting location equal to new work i want to find out how can i find out this so i'll use this command prompt and i'll use the comma over here and the second column is department name this is my second column and i'll put the colon and i'll enter in the value accounting so this is my value and the third value i want to store it use the comma and what is the third column present here third column is location loc so now i'll use within the double quotes loc and i'll use colon and the value is new york this value is new arc New York. So this is the data. I'll just close it and I'll execute it. So now it shows acknowledge to and it is created one object uh, means address one address. So you can check this. This are the both address. Okay. So till here all the values will be same. The last one will be only the difference four and five so now i have a two data so how can i find here so db dot emp dot find method so this is how we can identify the data are present in the documents so now we have a one more one more method that method is called pretty so pretty is used to uh, arrange the documents in a proper manner so that is the reason we use pretty method so uh, after the fight we'll use this pretty method so emp dot find method after the find method we use pretty method so this is also one of the method to arrange the document or values key value pair in the proper order so if i execute see so before that before uh, doing this pretty so the day uh, values are present in horizontal manner so now you can check so this is a uh, one information and this is the first id and the second one you see multiple values are there it will be separate it and uh, it is present in the single set but the data are representing the proper pattern so that is the reason we use pretty method so this is how we inserting the value and we can sort the records or sort the documents like this uh, so now i have a one more method we can store multiple document into the database how can i simple so db dot collection name is emp then insert method within within the insert i am going to write multiple document to it so we use square bracket after the square bracket again we'll write curly phrases uh, i'll use department number so already we have inserted uh, one value i choose the older one 
so this is my older value and here I'll put in square bracket same department 10 is there I'll, I'll just use 20 department name accounting is there I just go with the flow research research and location will be the last the last and second document I'm going to create uh, within the sets I'll use a comma and inside this I just so now here I have a uh, three information one is department number and department name and location so now I can create a uh, only the two information that is department number department number is closed yes the next line you can see i just use the colon and the data will be 30 department 30 i would use and i'll use the comma and one more a department name department name i'll use colon uh, i want to check this department sales is a department name in the department 30 is a sales see yes sales is a department name so this is my another collection so in the first collection in the first document i don't have Oh, sorry i have all the value but in the second collection i don't have this location so in the third document i can easily create this okay without even using this department number also we can create it so let me type it d name so within the colon and double quotes the last department name is operations operation department location is boost so i paste it this operation okay uh, the thing is not pasted here operations and i use location and the double quotes location boston boston is a location and i just close it this bracket a square bracket so first parenthesis then square bracket then the set set means curly braces and similar manner in the last also the curly braces and a square braces and then finally bracket Oh, now it shows error because uh, we used insert one method so that is the reason it shows an error so now I want to change insert one one means only the one document will be stored I will use insert many so now we'll execute now it's acknowledge is true so this is how we store the many values so each and every document it has a different id so this is the first document id this is the second document id and this is the third document id so now i i have i want to check this how many collections how many uh, so documents are collected in the database i'll again i'll use find method which method find the db dot collection name is emp and find method so see so here multiple data are present and each and every document has a different address so now i want to separate it so that is the reason i told you the uh, collection don't have the exact schema yeah. and the document are not a static it is a dynamic so now i'll use pretty method db dot collection name 
emp dot find method along with pretty so now see i uh, can say this all the documents in the separate manner so this is only the one document this is a multiple document has been separated like this so now we'll talk about update so after after insertion of the main value so we can we can check and this graphical user interface also see here this is scott so in this scott emp is a collection in this collection we have inserted a multiple value so in the graphical user interface uh, we have a total five document and it created one indexes <coughs> so like this we can add in a graphical user interface if you want to create uh, so any other collections you just go to the what create collection if you want to create the database so here you can create the database and here you can use something the database name is hr and collection name is emp and you can create it like this and so here if you want to insert a value so you'll just select it hr and then create the collection like this so already we have created the collection name and here so adding the data like this so i told you uh, here we use a json or csv file if you want to import the data you can use the import portions else uh, you can add the data imported file and document like this you can add it and else you can add the data like this also for example So now I want to insert the document. So here one drop down will be there. Here insert document option will be there. You can go through that. Uh, so this is the JSON and here you can see this. So this ID will be generated. Okay, so this is the ID. And next, if you want to insert means it will be inserted only ID. So now I want to edit it. So how can I edit by using this edit document? I can edit it if you want to add extra information so now again uh, so here uh, I cannot edit it because uh, we have uh, only one ID so now I want to add it see remember ID cannot be changed and so now I want to add one more uh, information is we use this plus add a field after ID so field after id means we use one name for example e name if i use inside this we can write some employee name like smith so then if you update it and it shows updated successfully and here uh, it shows this which kind of the data type it is and if you want to add one more you just go with that so employee salary so how to use the salary in the single quotes if i write if i write uh, one second if i write this thousand so now it shows a string data type because uh, here you can change data type so here multiple data types are available so how to use everything we'll talk about so now we are then so the number data type is there any number data type uh, no number data type i'll use i'll keep the data in string data type and within the double quotes i have written this and after this i update it so this value will be updated like, like this so similar manner we can adding the data into the particular user called hr so this is how we are doing this thank you